Halo started as a video game and a book. A lot of people don't realize that we actually released a book um, six weeks before we released the first game. And so from the very beginning, the intent was to create sort of a, a world behind the game. But Halo, first and foremost, is known as being a video game. The first game was released in 2001. Um, so for a game franchise, we've actually been around for a pretty long time. Uh, but Halo is also a sci-fi world and universe. And so uh, we do things across video games and books and TV and toys and graphic novels. We have soundtracks. It, it literally is a universe with a set of characters that people know and care about and a history. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I look at it as, you know, a living world and we express it in all sorts of different ways. There's a mythology. Uh, for me, I'm always looking at how do we tell different stories in the universe and what are different ways of telling it that, that are interesting for people. I started engaging with Halo as a player um, with Halo 1, and it wasn't until after I played the game that I actually read uh, The Fall of Reach, which is the first novel and is the backstory of the Master Chief, who's the main, the main character in Halo. Um, and I was hooked the moment I played the game. Um, and then after reading the novel, I was a lifelong fan. I didn't know what was going to come next. I didn't know what else would be released, but I was, I was in it for the long haul. And so it's amazing for me now to be working on it. Um, but it's a sci-fi adventure. Um, it's a first person uh, game, um, first person shooter. Uh, but I think it's, it's, it's really about expressing a world and a sci-fi world. And so it's about heroism and it's about hope, and it's about sort of humanity at stake, and it's about mystery and wonder and what it is to be able to, to explore a sci-fi world. It's like a Star Wars in that there is so much depth and expansiveness, and there are people who may only ever engage in the game, and so there's a level of story that they understand and love, and that's great, and they can't wait for the next game, and then there's just sort of all of these layers underneath it, and we have a whole set of fans who are so, so into those stories and the lore and the history, and they can give you these dates that sometimes I can't even remember. Um, and so it has all these layers to it, so people can sort of engage in it um, at the layer that they're most interested in. And for us, we look at how do we make Halo something like a Star Wars, right? Star Wars has been referred to as a, a universe worthy of devotion. And that's something I think a lot of us feel with Halo and want more people to, to be able to experience.